The pressure is on for the second leg of the Farrier's Rally 2012. June's crossing, dangerous climbs and downhill slopes, this 300-kilometer loop from and to the bivouac of Tibnia requires unfailing focus and stamina. On the first day, Jordi Villadoms on KTM had finished in third position, but in the second stage, Villadom takes the lead and climbs up to the second spot of the general standing. Also on KTM, Polish rider Jakub Szygonski was ahead of the pack at the beginning of the stage, but he ended the day just 1 minute 12 behind Villadoms. Close behind Przygonski, Paolo Gonsalves on Uxvarna finishes the stage two minutes after Villadoms. <laughs> Meanwhile, Juan Barreda reaches the finish line three minutes 25 after fellow Catalan rider Villadoms, but he keeps his top spot in the provisory general standing. Today, Norwegian rider and previous Farrier's winner, Pal Ullevalsetter, tells the bike's top five, both in the stages standing and in the general classification. It has been no easy ride for the bikes in the second special stage, and there are a few memorable tumbles to report. The car's category, Jean-Louis Lesser has solved his battery problems and closed the gap with the current number one from about 20 minutes to just 5 minutes 40. The Desert Fox finishes the second stage in first position. Less than 10 minutes behind Schlesser comes another French buggy. It's Patrick Sirejol and his Belgian co-driver François Béguin in second position of this special stage is standing. The bronze medal goes to Khalifa al on Mini. The Emirates driver and his German co-driver Andreas Schulz are still on the highest step of the general podium for now. In fourth position, Boris Gadassin and his G-Force prototype finish the stage about 24 minutes behind Jean-Louis Schlesser. Meanwhile, Regis Delay and his yellow buggy climb in fifth position of the stage is standing. Tomorrow, the Ferrio's third leg will take us to Abu Mingar with the hardest, most selective stages of the competition.